Hi, I'm Stacy the Black Feather Intuitive. Welcome to our second week in November. It is November 12th, and I'm hoping you guys had an amazing week. Uh, for me, it's been uh, quite interesting. Lots of um, opportunities to practice what I preach. I'm always grateful to the universe for bringing me those. Um, hopefully you are having um, sort of the same experience where you're happy for those experiences as well. Um, let's talk about this week. Lots of interesting things uh, floating around in the air. Let's see what our Divine Dream Team wants to tell us today. Uh, let's set the intention that uh, this week for the reading that we get all of the messages and information that we need to, um, to really succeed this week in everything that we uh, want to achieve. Uh, let this week be the messages be very powerful, be very specific, and very guided so that we know exactly where we are supposed to be going uh, with our plans, with our goals, with our desires. And we invite in all the uh, Divine Spirit, all the Archangels, all of our Ascended Masters, um, our Highest Guides, our Creature Teachers, our Elementals, and our Loved Ones in Spirit to come in and join us today. Also, I'm uh, an energy person, so the energies of the universe come on in and give us the guidance and information that we seek. All right, and yeah, I'm thinking we're going to do Tarot of Dreams again today. I just love this deck. I, I mean, I have so many different card decks. I just really love this deck. I think maybe it's a phase that I'm in. All right, what have we got today? Oh, got it upside down. Oh, Priestess. So this is all about intuition. So for this week, the week of November 12th, how are you going to turn off the monkey mind, get out of the rat race that is our life sometimes, and tune in, go within uh, our inner voice, our inner guidance, our inner GPS, I call it, um, that little voice that tells you what feels right and what doesn't, where you should go versus shouldn't go today. Um, that little voice that gives you the inspiration. Maybe it comes through your dreams. Maybe you hear it. Maybe you see it when you close your eyes. Maybe you're aware of synchronicities that go around. Uh, I know for me, I receive a lot of feathers. Um, I receive a lot of uh, pennies and dimes uh, when I'm out walking, and, uh, walking the dog. Um, I get little signs uh, and symbols that let me know that I'm not alone, let me know that I'm on the right path. Numbers are a big thing for me. So if I have a question, and I know, you know, this week I'm, I'm working on a few things, and lots of inspiration has been coming through, and there are some real directed paths um, that I'm needing to take, but I'm having to make decisions based on that. Do I want to make decisions with my head? No. This week, I want to make decisions with my gut with my intuition, with my spidey senses. So how can you apply this this week for yourself? How is this going to, to sort of make sense for you? It's not about completely shutting your mind out and making, you know, irrational decisions. Obviously, you know, you can use logic and reason to make your decisions. But it's really about before you sort of choose a path, you want to close your eyes and tune in. You want to really connect and, and figure out where it is that you're... Uh, your dream team wants you to go, where your high self wants you to go. Uh, maybe you'll connect with numbers. Uh, maybe you'll see, uh, for me, it's 333 right now. So you'll see 333 on a license plate, and then you'll see 333 in a, a telephone number on a, on a billboard. And then you buy something, and it happens to be, you know, 4333, whatever it happens to be. <coughs> Pay attention to those kinds of synchronicities, because that is your dream team. That is your intuition. Um, your inner voice, trying to let you know, hey, you're on the right track. Look at this. You know, follow this path. There's something there for you. Okay. And this week, I really felt called to um, choose the Kyle Gray Angel Prayers deck. I'm really feeling like, for some reason, uh, this week, we need some angel guidance. So I don't know what is going to be going on this week for all of us. Ooh, I'm going to pull two cards, actually, because I'm feeling called to pull two. But I'm really feeling like the um, the archangels are wanting to let us know that they are with us and that there are some important um, messages that they have for us. Oh, my goodness. Honor your beauty, Archangel Jophiel. So she came through a couple weeks ago. 
Thank you, Joe Fiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. So, well, this card, actually, I'll just talk about this card first. So honoring your beauty. Um, we are in the middle of uh, fall weather. Uh, oftentimes, some people say it's the most beautiful time of the year because there are so many different beautiful colors happening when you go outside. Even though it's a little cooler, the air is a little crisper, the, um, the scenery is absolutely gorgeous. So many different colors. Um, to some, to most, that is beauty. When I'm seeing here for Joe Fiel, I feel like what she wants to tell us this, um, this week in particular is to make sure that you see the beauty in every situation. Uh, feeling like this week, um, again, I'm getting that sense that there's going to be some, some interesting turn of events uh, this week in particular for all of us in some way, shape, or form. Something that's going to be profound. Um, honor the beauty in the situation. Not saying that there's going to be something horrible and dramatic necessarily, but it's going to be something profound. It's going to be something that, um, that touches each of our lives um, in a profound way. So how do you honor the beauty in that? Uh, I always talk about looking for the gift in the situation. So, uh, you know, we perceive things sometimes as we label it as positive and negative, but really every situation is an opportunity to learn and grow. So really, if you shift your perspective on it, it's a win-win situation if you choose to see the gift in it, finding the gift in it. And this week, it's about finding the beauty in the situation. So even in the ugliest, darkest experience possible, find the beauty in the situation. So how do we apply this with our intuition? So it's about, it's actually about shutting off the, what I call the 3D world, shutting off the world for five minutes every day, tuning in and honoring the beauty that is you. And I'm, I'm really feeling like Jo Fiel's coming through right now and she's talking about, um, we are all beautiful souls. Um, each and every one of us is a beautiful soul and we have so much beauty to offer if we choose to step into that space. Uh, not only is it honoring our beauty, but it's believing in our beauty. Um, and I feel like, you know, self-confidence, self-esteem, uh, feeling like you can trust your intuition. There is beauty in trusting your intuition and standing tall and standing confident in your own power. I'm really feeling like those are two very, um, very powerful messages coming through. And then the third one, love it. Uh, Archangel Orion manifesting miracles. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. So this, what I'm feeling really strongly about is not only are you honoring the beauty in whatever situation is coming through, but you also need to recognize that you can create whatever it is that you need. So if something has happened this week that is profound and maybe you're not quite sure what to do with it, manifest what you want to receive out of it. Manifest what, uh, manifest the good that comes out of it. Manifest the gift. And you can choose what that is. I'm really feeling like this week you can choose it. You can make it happen. How do you make it happen? You make it happen by being aware of your thoughts, making sure that your thoughts are focused on where you want to be um, versus, you know, necessarily where you're at right now. It's really looking, it's the, the future forward and living it as though it has already happened. So don't forget, this is, um, this is our biggest tool. This is our, our biggest magic is the fact that we can create and recreate whatever situation we want. You may not be able to undo. I mean, the past is the past. It is what it is, right? Um, you learn from it and you move forward. But when you're in a situation, you have the power and control to, um, to be able to shape it in the way that you want it to, to work out and turn out. Um, that doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get the exact outcome that you're, uh, that you're wanting, but you're being open to receiving what the universe has to uh, present to you. And the opportunity this week is for you to learn how you can manifest. You can shift a situation around and manifest your highest and best possible outcome for the situation. Manifest the gift. All right, that was very interesting. Let's see what feather we get this week. Closing my eyes. Oh, love it. Being present. 
And uh, this is on a very bright pink, uh, I would say a magenta actually feather. And the color of magenta is very interesting. Um, if you do any kind of color studies, it's sort of um, a blending of the heart and also of the, um, the sacral chakra. So you're talking about sexuality, sensuality, creativity, and you're also talking about the passion of the heart. You're also talking about the self-love, the self-care, the unconditional love. So how can we apply this um, this week? So finding the beauty. This is an absolutely gorgeous feather. Being present. Finding the beauty in a situation. Manifesting where it is that you want to be requires presence of mind. It requires shutting the world out and tuning in to your intuition, to your inner voice. So you can only tune into your inner voice if you are present and grounded and focused in the moment. How can you do that for yourself? You can do that with so much love, so much gratitude for the fact that we are not alone in this universe. Not only do we have our dream teams, but we also have um, our, our um 3D dream teams as well, the, our, our uh, soul sisters, our soul brothers, our soul family, um, people that we really connect with, our community. So I'm really feeling like it's important this week for us to trust the intuition, be present, honor the beauty in every situation by being present. No matter what is going on around you, tune in to and find the beauty in the situation. There's beauty in the, the situation around you in your environment. There's beauty in the people that you're dealing with on a regular basis, even the ones you might be in conflict with. See the beauty in them and practice manifesting what it is that you want to have as your, as your outcome for the situation. Really feeling like there's some powerful stuff going to be coming through this week. Uh, very excited to hear what happens for you guys. Uh, thank you so much. This is our um, our dream team uh, guidance reading for November 12th. Wishing you guys all the best this week. Wanted to also uh, throw out a little invite. Um, if you are on Facebook, please feel free to join me on Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I do a show called Winged Wednesday. Uh, where I connect with the Archangels and uh, I provide some free readings uh, to people who are in attendance. You submit a question. So if there's something going on this week, uh, maybe it is around your intuition. Maybe it is around, you know, manifesting the, the miracle or trying to find the beauty in the situation. And you have a question about it and you, you want to get a little tune in. Um, Come check out Winged Wednesday and submit your question, and I uh, would love to be of service in that way. Also, um, as always, check out my website, theblackfeatherintuitive.com, and uh, my, my um, Facebook page, The Black Feather Intuitive. Would love to connect if you have any questions at all. Have a fabulous week. Take care.